it's October the 17th, she doing about the day. And my most American Nation. I just uploaded a video. Uh, for whatever reason, um, American Citizens Day keeps the um, TV on in the lobby and it's on CNN and the live. And I'm getting ready to exercise. And you know, we are at Cheating Way Back Bay, you spoke of artificial intelligence. So um, I noticed, like, it's interesting to hear words that they speak because it's a lot, it's live CNN. Um, CNN. Um, talking as I walk by. Okay, and so one thing they rely on those that have the telepathic code, artificial intelligence, is that you're not going to be able to talk about what you experience or articulate what you experience uh, without without them coming at you or attacking you in a certain manner, mentally, spiritually, and physically, that can make you pre be presumed as crazy, mentally imbalanced. They rely on that. So then they can continue um, doing what they have been doing for a long time, which are crimes against humanity. Crimes, literally crimes against humanity. And you notice in the video um, above, you see the black Negro female with the two pale skins. So it's, it's good to see the black Negro females and males on, on TV because then you can see those that know that they're artificial intelligence as well. They're not Moors, they're not Moorish American, they are artificial intelligence. And so when there are crimes involved, they, whatever that's going on in a sadistic, inhumane manner, the black Negro, with the black Negro male and female, they, on TV, they are, they are a part of it, they know, just like any, it's a satellite, it's, they are no different. So when you see them on TV marching, I like to say marching or walking, I mean, I like to march too, especially if I'm trying to get my um, blood flowing. But you see them uh, marching on TV, you know you you know how they can create a falsity, a false reality. And so the foreigners from um, overseas, wherever they may be from, it's good that they pay attention. As long pay attention. intelligence will start speaking about 400 years of slavery. Four hundred years of slavery and how we deserve how they deserve reparations. And so anyway, moving forward, artificial intelligence. That's my belief in reference to the satellite. A lot of times the black, so the black Negro, the black community have a high rate of AIDS high rate of venereal diseases, they have a high rate of unhealthiness, period, in the Hispanic community. And yet, they on TV. They on TV. So you can see how artificial intelligence can spread viruses and diseases purposely. They spread them purposely. It is not a mistake it is not a mistake that the black community has a high rate of venereal diseases, AIDS, viruses, and other uh, unhealthy um, disease compared to other communities. And yet, you see them on TV. It is not a mis it, is, it is not coincidence. It's not a coincidence with the Hispanic community. Okay. 
And here we are among a coronavirus pandemic, supposedly. Right now, someone um, like I give um, pop, give um, the TV as I was walking by. Those on the TV said "stopper," okay. And now I heard a Spanish-speaking accent that I hear saying "no" and a black Negro. So what we what we are among are tele artificial intelligence that have a telepathic code that can send their voice out through vibratory, um, I guess you want to say vibrations. So you, so it's, um, to think that you're among laboratory freaks, laboratory freaks experiments that they have um, created that can um, 
literally follow you through talking. And so if you're not able to articulate, because these are unclean spirits, weapons of mass destruction, you start saying, I, I hear voices in my head. I hear voices in my head. They won't stop talking. I hear voices. This is how people who could not articulate more go crazy. Or not crazy, but because they spoke about it or were able to um, defend themselves, they were um, institutionalized. And they made money off of them. So right now, what these artificial intelligence are relying on, that I'm not going to use my constitutional rights and beliefs and uh, my constitutional rights of religion. OK? So they're relying on that they're going to control me like they control other Moors who are outside of their outside of constitutional fold. But they're not. This is one of the blessings I see or sight of when I awoke and going straight to Moors. And not that filthy, diseased black Negro. So many times all around me, I hear black Negro accents, um, which is connected to the United States military unnaturalized um, and Spanish speaking accents uh, speaking. So what I do is at night when they start attacking, un these are unclean spirits and these are weapons. What I do is try to get them on video. And that's why I send the videos to Voice American National Public because I know there's technology that can be used to pick up on their voices. And not only that, there are military, military more, more who were in the military, high rank, that also know of what I am talking about. So when this filth they like to get on TV or whatever and lie. As they talk about the coronavirus pandemic, they talk about other sicknesses, other things that are going on, or they demonstrate on TV, Moors already know they're lying.
They killing people. When I say they, these are artificial intelligence. They are murdering, murdering people all over the globe. They have murdered and are murdering people all over the globe. And they use, they depend on the programs they have inside of people. Programs. Through that, through that telepathic code. I'm trying to think, what do I want to listen to? Ah. Do I want to listen? That's what I thought about. I didn't want to go with Janet Jackson. So it's going to be interesting to see the future of this film. Because we all know how, how they like to get on TV and play the victim. The black Negro, all right, that they put around that are able to send their um, thoughts is to plant thoughts. So they feel that they can get some form of connection or intimacy by um, studying your behavior and thoughts and then planting thoughts. And then eventually, when th that black Negro male and female approach you, you'll be more uh, receptive to their approach. Um, I just got through speaking to a bass, my youngest son, and he was saying he spoke about it's not healthy or it's a mental illness to be antisocial. Antisocial. So once again, I just got through calling the cops a few weeks back because of a black Negro male trying to force engage, literally try to grab. So this is a form of forced amalgamation with filthy, diseased, unclean spirits. 
They're filthy, unclean, and diseased. So with the TV that is a satellite help, where you, they are able, they are used as weapons. They're used as weapons, and with the TV, which is a satellite, a strong media form, they can be portrayed as a victim, or they can be portrayed um, as a predator. Which the United States military that's unnaturalized is in connection with that. They're trying to breed a filth. I kept seeing this visual of the black Negro male. You know he's a Negro because he's on TV. You know he's a Negro because he's on TV of Judge Mathis. Because um, I could tell he was live when I heard him speak sometimes as I was walking. Never, I have never, we don't listen, we don't watch TV. We do not watch TV. The last time we watched TV was years ago, and it was here in Annapolis, it was in 2016. We watched um, for about four months the movie station. But before then, we didn't watch TV since 2010. So I was noticing um, when I would see or be out, or even at Earning Money at Burger King, they would have Judge Mathis on. And he would say words that correlated similar to my thoughts or what I was experiencing here. It was just little words. It could be sit down simultaneously as I feel sharp pain. Just little words. Because remember, he's a Negro. He is a Negro. There's no mores on TV. They are artificial, intelligent black Negroes. Okay? Negro who has studied the color of law. And now he's on TV like the rest of them. So, um, when I was, so then, so I, then I noticed as I was leaving American Extended Stay one day, he, the American Extended Stay had him on. And um, he started saying, yeah, loud, as I was walking out. American had, had American Extended Stay had him on in the lobby. And as I gave testimony before, some unclean spirits would say, yeah, in a very odd manner. And they will say yeah, and then have a, I would experience an implied thought about some form of sacrifice of, as of me as a Moor from my Moorish American nation. So once again, you got a black Negro on TV, all right, who looks like he in some form of authority. He is nothing but a Negro, artificial intelligence, that they use and that is on the, the satellite and being used as a weapon. That is a spirit being used and is a weapon. Those, these are my beliefs. Being used and is a weapon. No one is in this gym but me. I'm at American Senate State, 120, Admiral Cocker and Drive.
you'll never see a naturalized moor in high status on TV. I don't think you will ever see a naturalized moor in high status in thought, words, and deeds righteous ever on TV, ever. A true naturalized moor. You, we would never see it. We already know, they know. But you're gonna see a black Negro. The unclean spirits of the earth. Not all, but too many. The filthy slaves, abominations of the earth. These are unclean spirits, artificial intelligence such as I speak of. They filthy, they are unclean, they disease, low life abominations. And they know, I know. <coughs> and they know more is no. They filthy, unclean, low life abominations. These are not just the black Negro. You got the Hispanic that is also on TV. Artificial intelligence that's unclean. You got them, you get the TV is in South America, Central America, Mexico. That satellite is all over. Continent of Africa. That, that satellite, Europe. And then they sent out the telepathic code to all these nations, all these countries. China, Japan, Australia. Look at Australia. Australia is on serious lockdown. Those people have no rights. They are literally being treated as animals. Literally in the public. They are literally on lockdown. Even if they've been vaccinated. They, the people, are, I, one video showed a guy saying, I'm vaccinated. He still didn't have any rights. They gave them the telepathic code, and now they're using what they put in that telepathic code to treat, mistreat them. These are my thoughts and these are my beliefs.
Okay, I'm gonna, this is my 30 minute workout today. It is October, I mean November the 17th, 2021.